Hey kids, and welcome to Heartland. Miss Lauren, I'm so excited to be here with you today. I'm so excited to be here with you too, Pastor Zach. I'm glad that we get to be here and learn mm. all about God. You know, I wonder what our Bible story is today. Ooh, I don't know. I wonder what it is. Well, you know what? Mm -hmm. Why don't we go down, see Farmer Joey, maybe Bible will be there, and we can find out what we're talking about today. I think that's a great idea. Let's go. Let's go. Hello, boys and girls. I'm Farmer Joey, and I'd like to welcome you to Heartland. Here in Heartland, we like to sing songs to Jesus, hear about God's love, and learn from the Bible. Also, we can be more like Jesus. Thank you for joining us today. Hey, how about you all stand up right where you are and give yourself a hand. Give yourself a pat on the back and a great big hug for tuning in to Heartland today. But why did he not follow God? I don't understand why he would not obey. It doesn't make any sense. Hi, Lucas. Uh, were you just talking about obeying God? Hi, Farmer Joey. Yes, I want to know why Jonah did not listen to God. Well... He, he did, eventually. Oh, he did? Uh, Lucas, did you not finish reading the rest of the Bible story? Uh, well, no, but we were almost done when I got up from the table. Okay, so how much do you remember? So, I know that God told Jonah to tell the people to stop doing bad things. But he ran away from God on a boat. Yes, and... Then on the boat, Jonah told the sailors about God and how he worshipped him because he was the one true God. Yeah, I remember that part. Then he jumped in the water, and that is where I got up from the table. Okay, so I'll tell you this next part, okay? But then you have to go read the rest of the Bible story for yourself, okay? Okay, I promise. Okay. So what happened? So, well... When Jonah jumped into the sea during the storm, God mm -hmm. stopped the storm. And then the sailors started to believe in the one true God. Oh, wow. That is so cool. Okay, I am going to read the rest of the Bible story right now. And I will be right back. Okay. Bye, Father Jonah. Bye, Lucas. <laughs> Boys and girls, the rest of the story is really cool, too. I can't wait for Lucas to get back so we can talk more about this story. So, while we wait for Lucas, how about we stand and use our best singing voices to sing about God's Word? You know, boys and girls, every time we gather in Heartland, we're going to talk about the letter that God has sent us, and we can read it every day. And what is that letter called, boys and girls? Bible. That's right, the Bible. I open my Bible and listen to God. He tells me what I should do. I know that he loves me. He hears when I pray, and all of his stories are true. Now, let's be very still and quiet and see what the Bible is to tell us this morning. Good morning, Bible. 
Good morning, Farmer Joey, and good morning, boys and girls. Please tell us something from God's Word this morning, Bible. The Bible verse today is, I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works, my soul knows it very well. Psalm 139, verse 14. Let's say a verse together, boys and girls. I praise you, for I am. I praise you, for I am. Fearfully and wonderfully made. Fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. Wonderful are your works. My soul knows it very well. My soul knows it very well. Let's repeat that, boys and girls. I praise you, for I am. I praise you, for I am. Fearfully and wonderfully made. Fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. Wonderful are your works. My soul knows it very well. My soul knows it very well. God wants to be praised for creating you. That's right, Bible. And he should be. God created everything on earth, and that includes you and me, boys and girls. And we were created in his image, which is wonderful. And that's why the Bible says we were wonderfully made. Everything God creates or does is wonderful and perfect. Yes, it is. We are perfect. The animals are perfect. The plants are perfect. Everything God created is perfect. This is why we should always give praises to God. Exactly, Bible. God created everything so that we could have everything we need. So we should always praise him and forever. Thank you, Bible, for helping me teach the boys and girls about praising God for creating us. So what do you think of today's Bible story so far, Pastor Zach? It sounds like things were not going well for Jonah when he tried to run away from God. I know, I know. You're right, Miss Lauren. You know, Jonah definitely did get into some trouble when he chose to disobey God. But you know what? Even though Jonah disobeyed God and wasn't obeying exactly what God told him to do, God still had a plan. He sent that huge storm when mm -hmm. Jonah was on the ship with all those sailors. Yes. And even though they used to worship all these false gods mm -hmm. and false idols, when they realized there was the one true God and they threw Jonah over and the mm -hmm. storm stopped and they saw that big fish swallow Jonah, uh -huh. they began to believe in and worship the one true God. Mm -hmm. That's incredible. It sounds like God cared just as much about the sailors as he did about Jonah. Mm. You know, he cares about everyone, doesn't he? Uh, yes, Miss Thorne, he sure does. He <laughs> loves everyone. You know what? Mm -hmm. God cares about everyone and everything in his yeah. whole wide, wonderful world that he created. Mm -hmm. And that's why the Bible tells us that we should always give praise mm -hmm. to God. That's good. You know what? How about we um, we go find out if, uh, if Lucas thought about the end of our Bible story and maybe find out what happens? You know, I think that's a great idea. I almost forgot we didn't even hear the end of the story. Let's go. Let's go. Farmer Joey! Farmer Joey! Farmer Joey! Farmer Joey! Hi, Lucas. So, what did you think of the rest of the story? Oh, wow, Farmer Joey. Jonah was swallowed up by a big fish and stayed in there for three days and nights. I know. And when the fish spat him out, he went to the city of Nineveh to tell them to stop doing bad things and to listen to God. What I don't understand is... Why did Jonah get mad when the people listened to him and started to follow God again? Well, he didn't think that God should forgive them so easily. He thought that they should be punished. But God loves us and wants us to follow him. And when we do and we say sorry, he forgives us. That's right. Because that is exactly what God did. But Jonah thought that everyone should be punished. So God taught him a lesson about loving people. Oh, that is the part where the tree died and it made Jonah upset because now he did not have shade. Yes, yes. That's the part. God asked Jonah why he would be upset that a tree died, but not when God wanted to punish the people of the city. Jonah didn't take care of the plant, so why would he be more important than the people and the animals of the city? And that made Jonah realize that people are more important than a tree, right? Yes, yes it did. And that made God happy. This was a good story, Farmer Joey. The best part was all the miracles that God did, like calming the storm 
And Jonah living in a fish. Yes. You know, those are cool, right? But I think the best part was Jonah realizing that God values people and animals. And that is because he made them and loves them. Yes, that is the best part. Well, I better get home. I have to feed my cat before it gets too late. Bye, Farmer Joey. Bye, Lucas. Boys and girls, God created everything and loves everything he created. But he loves people the most because he created them in his image. Hey, how about we stand and sing another song? and girls. All our Bible stories point us to Jesus. This week, we learned about Jonah, who was told by God to tell people to stop sinning. However, he did not want to do what God asked. But God knew that one day he would send his son, Jesus, to tell people not to sin, and Jesus would obey God. So, boys and girls, let's repeat our Bible verse, and make sure you say it as awesome as you can. I praise you, for I am. I praise you, for I am. Fearfully and wonderfully made. Fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. Wonderful are your works. My soul knows it very well. My soul knows it very well. Psalms 139.14. Great job. Now, let's bow our heads and talk to the Lord and repeat after me. Dear God, dear God, thank you for loving us. Thank you for loving us. And thank you for creating us. 
And thank you for creating us. We love you. We love you. In your name we pray. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 Now, for my favorite part, let's tell your mom and dad just how much God loves them. You ready? One, two, this is true. God loves me and God loves you. See you next time, boys and girls. Bye. Wow, Miss Lauren, what a crazy mm-hmm. story. Disobedience to God, mm-hmm. swallowing by a big fish, mm-hmm. storms, boats, mm-hmm. Ninevites. It's crazy. What was your um, favorite part? Well, I think that my favorite part was how God showed grace mm-hmm. to Jonah by saving him inside that big fish. And how he also showed grace to all the people of Nineveh, and he forgave them. That is so true. You know, it reminds me of the way that, you know, God sent Jesus to mm-hmm. save us. And that's mm-hmm. how he shows us his grace. We are all like Jonah mm-hmm. and the people of Nineveh because we disobey God and we sin against mm-hmm. God. Mm-hmm. But God sent Jesus to send us his grace. And, you know, God did that so that we could be forgiven of mm-hmm. our sins. Yeah, and so Jesus true. came, he died on the cross for our sins, God raised him from the dead. And when we agree that we're sinners, we make mm-hmm. bad choices, and that Jesus mm-hmm. did die on the cross and God mm-hmm. raised him from the dead, God can forgive us of our sins and saves us just like he saved those sailors and Jonah mm-hmm. and the people of Nineveh. Mm-hmm. Instead of punishing us for our sins, we get God's grace. You know, God's promise is that we will live with him forever, which is the best gift mm-hmm. of all. Wow. All I can say is thank you to God for creating us and loving us. Kids, let's just keep praising God this week and remember that he loves each and every one of you. All right. We'll see you next time, boys and girls. Bye. Bye.